back to this channel. Perhaps you, who are watching this animation at the moment, are going through difficult times. You've been going through trials for a long time now. You have prayed for a long time, and everything asks you when will the Lord answer your prayers. When will you be delivered? In this video, we will talk to you about 5 signs that show that your visitation is near. If these signs are manifesting in your life, then it is time for you to pray more, because your victory is near. Good viewing. Above all, don't forget to like, share the video and subscribe to support the channel. Now activate the notification bell to be notified when a new video is posted. Welcome my darling daughter. Come and sit down. Thanks mom. Glad to see you again. Mari's my little sister. It's a joy to see you again. Thank you Mimi. What do you have to eat here? My stomach is churning. I cook roast chicken with plantain. It's very good. All right. I'll eat later. I came to have a serious talk with you, Mimi. Oh yes. What is it about? I'm the one who brought your little sister. In order to reason with you. When I talk to you, you don't listen. Maybe with her, you will be more attentive. Your little sister has been married for five years already. You who say you are a child of God, nothing is really working for you. Ask your sister for tips on how she got her husband. Then find yours. Mom, did Mimi tell you that I introduced her to my husband's friend, Jean, who you know? She had refused to come to her appointment. Supposedly he is pagan. Your daughter doesn't want to get married. She wants to benefit from our father's property. So you refuse a date from a man? Because of your so-called Christian faith? You're crazy. God help me. I think something is wrong with this girl. Stop, please. My God is not sleeping. I know he will act for me in his time. He never abandons those who trust in him. Stop. Look at your life. You are miserable, nothing glorious about you. Nothing attractive. You're always the one shouting nonsense. Get out of my sight. I told you that until you bring me a husband into this house, you and I are at war. Look at your sister, how she shines. Her husband takes care of her and me. Go to your room. Go away I'm ashamed to call you my big sister. Look at you. You, my little sister, you are disrespecting me because you are married, and I am not. You don't deserve my respect. You were the one who had to take care of mom right now. But you can't do it. Your salary is lousy, and you don't have a husband to take care of her either. Despite my small salary, I give money to mom. With what little I have. I try to please her. I know that my God will act for me. Stop talking. What money are you referring to? Your poor 30,000 that you give me every month. That doesn't even buy my cleansing milk. Shut your mouth. The one who takes care of me, my princess, my crown, my joy of living. This is your sister here. She's my real child. My blood actually runs through her veins. My God, why all these humiliations? Lord God, I've been praying for a long time for my life to change. But I'm stagnating. Please strengthen me, my God. Despite the insults and mockery, give me always to look to you. Give me to do nothing beyond your will. Forgive everything that hurts me. My mother, my sister and the others. I bless you for what you are doing in my sister's life. Thank you God, because I know you will act in your time. I'll wait. Tell me my daughter, what is happening? Your sister isn't around, so you can open up. You seemed sad to me earlier on the phone. Mom, my husband beats me. I am tired. He cheats on me all the time, and once I ask him questions he puts his hands on me. Mom, this marriage is tiring me. I want to go home. Why does he act like this? Yet he seems so nice and calm. Mom, it was you who forced me into this marriage. I want to leave. I know I can have a better man than him. No. You must not leave this man. He is very rich, and he is the one who takes care of me. Look how I shine. You know, rich men are always unfaithful, because all women want to have them. But you are the woman he married. So be calm. For the rest, I will talk to him about it. But for your part, be a good woman. 
All marriages have problems, but everyone puts up with it. Mom. We must stay strong. Your deliverance is near. What is this angelic movement around Mimi? He the Almighty wants to visit her. I must prevent this blessing from manifesting physically. I must distract her and distract her from her destiny. Quickly. This is what God has put in my heart in relation to the request of our sister Fallon, brother and sister. Does anyone have anything to add? Brother. Glory to God for the valuable advice you have given, it will help us sisters to be wise women. I remember this word, the wise woman builds her house, and the foolish one pulls it down with her own hands. My sister, please. The message wasn't for you. You are single. The message was addressed to us married women. So, I don't understand why you are intervening. I asked myself the same question. Even we married women did not speak. She is single, she speaks. May God be our help in this assembly. My sister Mimi, how are you? Not very good, Papa Landry. These last few days, I have been experiencing a lot of stress in my life. Humiliations from all sides. At night I often have tightness. I don't know. I cling to God. Did you notice how the sister responded to me in front of everyone? I am frustrated. What you are experiencing is difficult. But know that it confirms what I received from God about you. What revelation had you received? You need to know one thing, my sister. The Lord has heard your prayers and your cries. God's time has arrived. He wants to visit you. That's why you see all this commotion around you. Your attacks, your difficulties multiply. This is a sign that God is about to bless you. As soon as that you start to pray seriously. These agitations come from the devil. When God wants to visit someone, there is an angelic movement around the person. The enemy is not omniscient. But seeing this movement around you, he knows that the blessing is being released. So, he will increase the attacks against you. To create discouragement in you. So that you turn away from God. And act against his will. So, God is about to visit me? Yes my sister. Everything you experience is not a coincidence. It is a sign that the blessing is coming. And the devil will redouble his efforts. To turn you away from the path. By putting obstacles in your way. To push you to give up just before your victory. This is why you must redouble your prayers and remain attentive to the voice of God. Oh how strengthened I am. I will pray more so as not to let myself be negatively influenced by everything that is done to me. Amen. Above all, keep this word from Psalm 27 verse 19 which says, When my father and mother abandoned me, however, the Lord will receive me. If everyone abandons you and rejects you, Know that you have God on your side, the one who holds the whole world in his hands. Lord God, please bless my marriage with a child. Your word says in Exodus 23 verse 26, There shall be no woman in your land who aborts, nor barren woman. I will fill the number of your days. You make the promise to your people. By covenant in Jesus Christ, those who believe in you are among your people. May this promise be fulfilled. They call me sterile. My in-laws persecute me, because I have not yet given birth. Father, you who heard Sarah, Annie and Rachel. None of these women came to you and remained barren. Lord do it for me and my husband. In your precious name I prayed. Amen. This is my son's house. Like I told you, I'm going to install you as his new wife today. This man that he calls his wife, I will kick her out today. Thank you mother-in-law. Who could it be? I'm not expecting anyone at this time. Mom is that you? Welcome. I didn't know you were coming, otherwise I would better prepare for your arrival. Who is your mom? I'm not your mom. I did not give birth to a cemetery womb. Besides, your stay in this house is over. You have eaten my son's money for a long time, without any fruits in return. I have brought a worthy and capable wife for my son. Who will give him children? My daughter, go and take place. This is your new home. Thank you so much, Mom. You don't have to thank me, my daughter. 
I told you. This is your house now. I'm very thirsty please. Can I have fresh water? My god, what is this quality of test again? Lord I'm tired. I have no more strength, help me. Why does my mother-in-law hate me so much? What have I done wrong to her? My son Harry. You are back. How was your day? Mom. You here? Yes my son. Aren't you happy to see me? I had a surprise trip. But don't worry, it's for a good cause. What's so urgent, Mom? And who's this last one near you? Well, her name is Lida. The new woman your father and I found. She will give you children. We have confirmation, she already has a child, Chloe. You know the madness of youth. But at least we know she can give birth. Not like that boy you call woman there. Mom, I don't allow you to talk like that about my wife. Please respect my wife. I didn't tell you and dad to find me a wife. God will give us a child when the time is right. This is because it's late. Otherwise, I would bring her in. But tomorrow morning, very early. The taxi will take this young girl to the bus station. She will return to her home. My son. Even if this woman has bewitched you, I, your mother, will unbewitched you. Are you disobeying your parents? Does not your Bible tell you to honor your father and your mother? that your days may be long on earth. So, respect your Bible. And obey your parents. Mom, the verse you just cited is in Exodus 20 verse 12. Honor your father and your mother, so that you may live long in the land that the Lord your God gives you. You see Mom, the complete Bible in Ephesians 6 verse 1. Children, obey your parents, according to the Lord. So what you say is not according to the Lord. Because the Bible asks me to have only one wife. She is the one God chose for me. The Bible still says not to separate from your wife in Matthew 19 verse 9. But I tell you that he who divorces his wife, except for unfaithfulness, and marries another, is like an adulterer. You see, what you are proposing to me is contrary to the will of God. I love my wife, with or without children, she is and remains the woman of my life. No one will separate us. And I have this firm conviction that God will give us a child. For there is not a woman who went to God to have a child and left this earth without being heard. Stop your talking young man. I don't want this girl in my family anymore, and that's it. There is your new wife. I don't want to hear anything more. I'm sorry mom, but I have to go take a shower. I'll come back to you later. Mom, are you sure this will work? He didn't even greet me. Calm down my daughter. He's my son, I control him. I will handle it. Okay, mom. Honey, are you back? Yes, my darling. By the grace of God, I heard you cry. What is going on? You know I don't like seeing you in this state. Didn't you see mom and your future wife in the living room? Mom humiliated me today. I don't know what harm I had done to her, for her to act like this towards me. She rejects me, insults me all the time, and now she wants to throw me out. In addition to having turned your whole family against me, saying that I had bewitched you. I don't know. I'm tired of all these fights. At the hospital they don't see anything abnormal about me. If I don't have a child yet, it's because God's time has not yet arrived. Then what is all this relentlessness against me for? My dear. The enemy is a liar. He wants to distract us. We must not play into his game. He sees that the Lord is about to visit us. He becomes agitated and seeks to push you to the limit. All he wants is a flaw from one of us to make us miss the visitation time. In Luke 19 verse 44, the Lord Jesus swept over Jerusalem, saying, They will destroy you and your children among you, and they will not leave one stone upon another in you, because you did not know the time when you were visited. You see, the enemy had blinded the people of Israel, so that they would not grasp the grace offered to them, salvation. He distracted them with reasoning that did not glorify God. They missed this visitation time. This is the same tactic the devil is using against us right now. Anyone who is willing, he will use to push us away from God. It is now that we must no longer pray. 
It is now that we must cling more to Jesus, discern his voice, in order not to miss this visiting time which is coming. You're right, darling. Just like Job. During all these trials, when he was told all the bad news, his enemies struck. In all this Job did not accuse his enemies. He did not fix his gaze on his enemies. He looked to God. This is why it says in Job 1 verse 22. In all this, Job does not sin and does not attribute anything unjust to God. Indeed, my darling. We must stay focused on the goal. For mom, God will give us wisdom. This girl tomorrow morning will return home. If mom wants, she goes with her. If she doesn't want to, she stays. You should be home when I'm here so she doesn't do anything else. Let us pray my darling, let us go into the presence of God. To bless us. Let us give glory to God for what he is about to do. Amen. Lord God, we praise and celebrate you for who you are. You the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end of all things. Glory to you for your infinite graces. We know our prayers will be answered. We believe you are about to do something big in our family. O oh Lord, may your heaven open to us. May this blessing that you have released into the spiritual world manifest physically. Father, we pray that in these times of turmoil, help us to have our eyes fixed on you. May nothing take us away from you. Whoever the enemy wants to use to distract us from your path, give us discernment close our ears to evil tongues. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the enemy's plans to keep us away from our destiny be null and without effect. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This man didn't even greet me. The charm that I was given to use against him cannot work without Rapprochement. I have to be near him and a bit intimate with him. Above all, you must not forget the instructions that I gave you. Your daughter must make sure that there is a little Rapprochement with the man before using the charm. Otherwise, the return will be fatal for her. She will go crazy or die. Okay, Master. We will do as you said. I think she understood well, too. Thank you very much, Master. Did you hear correctly what the Master said? Yes, Mom. I heard it right. I will do as told. I will use LQ Seduction to bring his heart closer to me. Once done, I will use LQ Potion. If I try to seduce him tomorrow, it doesn't work, I'd rather go home. I will go and find another man, to whom I will assign the child, which I am carrying at the moment. Otherwise, my parents will kill me. Thank you Lord God for these moments of prayer. My darling is asleep. I'm suddenly thirsty, I'm going to go to the kitchen to drink some water. I put on my seduction outfit. I hope luck smiles to me and let the gentleman come here in the kitchen. Good morning Harry. I hope you had a sweet sleep. I was waiting to greet you. We didn't have time to talk yesterday. I wish you a good day. You are so handsome as a heart. Look at this beautiful body, it's yours. I'm ready to give it to you. Brothers and sisters, part 2 of this series is coming. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you. channel. Perhaps you, were watching this anime 